Hi guys, it's Rob and the Lady Biker. It is one of our very rare, wet, cold, windy days here on the central coast of California. Not the best riding conditions. So I thought I would come to you today from the garage. And what I wanted to talk to y'all about was roughly a week and a half ago, I posted a video right here. Can a woman really stand up a big bike? And I was blown away by the response to that video. So I wanted to circle back around to it and share with you some of the, the thoughts that came from all the conversations. Okay, so my video about picking up these big bikes, these big cruisers. Guys, I was blown away by the response. That I think that might be my highest comment video to date. So I had some great conversations. So I want number one is I want to say thank you for everyone that jumped on because y'all were so encouraging and supportive of just me in that video. And y'all are wonderful. Thank you so much for everyone that engaged. I really appreciate it. Number two, <laughs> I got the giggles because it's crazy how the addition or subtraction of one letter in that title could completely change the intent of that video. So for those of you that watched the video and thought it was about how to pick up big bikers instead of big bikes, I apologize guys, nope, had nothing to do with the people that ride them. It's all about the machines. So, but it did give me a good giggle. So thank you for sharing those with me. All right, number three, the sound quality on that video. All right, recently we moved from one house to another house in the same city. And I really didn't have a good place to do a video in the driveway like I used to. So we went and found the location where we go and practice our slow speed maneuvers. However, with it being very close to Highway 101, you're right, the sound quality was not that great. And thank you so much for mentioning it. I appreciate that so much. Um, the challenge is with all the money that I've already invested with my cameras and my audio for my helmet and all that, adding another equipment purchase is not in the budget. And I really kind of want my husband to stay happy with me. So right now I did hear you. So to help limit the ambient noise, I decided to do this from the garage instead of from doing it outside. So thank you guys so much for letting me know. And in the future, when the budget allows, I will be bringing in some different equipment. So number four, many of you out there mentioned that I needed to bend my knees more and to stay lower on the seat whenever I'm standing up a bike. And y'all are so spot on, great eye, thank you so much. Now, that kind of brings a follow on to it, that for any of you that are watching these videos, when you don't stay low and keep your knees bent as long as possible, it does make the lift heavier to even, not impossible, but where you wouldn't be able to do it by yourself. So with that, I highly recommend that one, you practice. If you can do it with a friend, have the friend watch you because it's always good to have backup in case you get into trouble. But if you don't have a friend and you're practicing this, turn your camera on yourself in video and watch what you're doing. Because we may think we're deep enough, we're doing it right, but once you see yourself or someone sees you, they may see that you're tilting or your knees are extending and it does make the lift heavier and more difficult. So thank you for those of you that mentioned that you're right. And I didn't see it until I went back and watched the video again. So good eye. Number five, most of these drops are going to happen at slow speeds in parking lots. So I did have a couple of people ask if this was about recovering from a crash and no, this was specifically about drops. Now, and that's where most of us, especially those of us that are experienced, more experienced riders are gonna find most of the time when you drop your bike, it's gonna happen at slow speeds in a parking lot. You're gonna grab the brake when the handlebars are twisted. 
you're going to put your foot down on gravel and your foot's going to go out from under you. Bill the Harley guy, awesome, you brought up another good one. A pothole or some kind of crack, like significant crack in the pavement can also take you down. So this video, the video was definitely about a drop as opposed to a crash. So for those of you that asked the question for clarification, thank you, I appreciate it. And um, Bill, you're right. If there's something, some kind of problem in the roadway, that's another one that can take you down as well. So with that, I also had another person come to me going, well, yeah, on dry pavement and flat ground, that yeah, it's a lift that can be done, but what if you don't have those environments? And they're right. That would, what make, lifting these big bikes and the technique I showed is best done on flat pavement on dry ground. How, because these lifts are all about leverage and friction. So if one or both of those is not present, being able to stand one of these bikes up by yourself is gonna be very difficult. Doable possibly, but very, very difficult to maybe even impossible. PNW Rider, awesome point. If the ground that the bike is on when you drop it is at an angle, especially a down angle, that can significantly increases the difficulty because you no longer have good leverage on the bike. You Getting into the right position to move correctly is gonna become more difficult. So could you still stand them up? In some cases, yes. In some cases, you won't be able to without help. The other part that I mentioned was friction. So if the ground is wet or you're on some kind of loose surface like loose dirt or gravel, that can also affect your friction and how well you're able to walk back. So there again, without being able to really get a good contact with the ground, that also changes. So you need both leverage and friction to do this lift comfortably and safely, or at least doably. <laughs> so guys, with that, it is cold. I'm gonna be going back inside soon, but I did wanna say a thank you to all of you subscribers and those of you who aren't subscribers yet but jumped on the video that were encouraging and supportive that gave me they gave the time to leave a comment or give the video a thumbs up i your support means so much to me it's really really important because that's the part of this platform that i love the most is the connections the comments and the conversations that happen down in the comments and hearing your thoughts and experiences so for those of you that take the time to give a thumbs up to leave a comment Y'all are amazing. Thank you so, so much. And with that, Cherry, Scarlet, and Bob and I are going to say bye. So guys, when you can, get out and ride. When you do, have fun. Be safe. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Bye.